Yes, you. I know you have this message that you want to read so badly, but you don't want the person to know you've read the message. Well, I have a new hack for you. Now try this. So all you have to do is to launch on WhatsApp. Now click on the three lines at the top right, select settings, go to privacy, and then you see red receipts under just toggle it off. Like and follow for more. So you want to be sure someone is monitoring your Facebook account, probably your chat and messages on Facebook, and then you remember logging in to see someone else's phone, but you don't know if you logged out. Well, do these steps to find out. All you have to do is to click on your Facebook, you launch your Facebook, and then click on the profile at the top right. Now scroll down to select settings and privacy, and click on your settings. Now under this metal, metal application, you see see more in account center, click on it. Then you scroll down to password and security, you click on password and security and then scroll down to where you are logged in. Now you click on it and you see these devices you are logged into, you open it and you see the time and location where the device was logged into. Then you open it and then if you don't authorize this, this device to log into your Facebook, just log out and that will be it. The person will have access to spy on your Facebook anymore like follow subscribe for more like this one well your whatsapp account needs to step verification to keep your account secure and avoid hackers hacking into your accounts if you don't have to step verification turned on in your whatsapp well do this thing. all you have to do is you launch your whatsapp you click on your three lines at the top right and select settings and you click on accounts and then two-step verification now you can toggle on this two-step verification and then enter your password Enter it again to confirm it and then enter the email address. Then you can confirm the email address and then save. Now, this will make your WhatsApp stronger than the usual. It's safe and secured. Do you like, follow, subscribe, or more like this one. Hey, if you're a WhatsApp user, you need to try these hacks. You might not know them. Thank me later. So, when you launch your WhatsApp, you type asterisk your word and asterisk it gives you this bold look and send then you type underscore unique vid underscore give you this italic look and then when you type this symbol unique vid and type it again it gives you the cross look now you can also do the asterisk and then underscore unique vid to give you both the italic and the bold look now you can add everything together to get more look. Tell me your experience under the comment section. Like and follow for more. WhatsApp users, there's a new feature I'm going to show you today. The WhatsApp voting poll that enables you to vote for your favorite candidates. Yes, on group chats, you can actually do that yourself. Yes, yourself. Now, if you've not followed this page before, kindly click the follow button or subscribe to this page for more content like this. Now, let me show you how to do that. What you have to do is to launch your WhatsApp. Now launch your WhatsApp and then click on the group you want to send this question to and then click on this pin like at the bottom bottom right and then select poll and you type the question you want to ask. Now in this case it's what is the name of my YouTube channel. You type it and probably give the answer unique feed and maybe another option social and another option um Rick. Now you can just set this up. You can allow multiple answers in the sense that someone can actually choose two answers. But then in this case, you can't allow multiple answers because I just have one YouTube channel. So you toggle it off. Now after this, you just send your goal. And that is it. So everyone in the group will have to vote. Now if I click on unique feed, it shows me one person has voted for unique feed. If I change my mind to vote for social, I go out of unique feed and come to social. Now, everybody votes and at the end, you get to see the percentage of people that voted for Unity and the people that wrongly voted my YouTube channel. Now, have you been looking for a way to hide your online status? Probably you don't want people to know you are online at a given point in time. Well, I have a solution for you. Try this trick. All you have to do is to launch your WhatsApp. Now, click on the three lines at the top right and select settings. Now, you go to privacy and then you see last thing and online, select it. And then select nobody already here selected you select nobody anytime you are offline no one will see your last scene if you also want that for who when you're online you can also select same as last scene like and follow for more
Have you been looking for a way to send a message or a chat to all your contacts or very few selected number of contacts and you don't know how to send it, probably you're tired of sending it one by one. I'm going to show you how to create a broadcast message where you need to send just one message and it gets to everyone. Now try this. All you have to do is to launch your WhatsApp. Now select the three dots at the top right and then click new broadcast. Now this broadcast you select people you want on this broadcast and then click good and now you see this broadcast is here you can actually rename it if you want you click on this and then change broadcast list name you change it to what you want to change it to and then ok and that is it for broadcast once you send the message to this person or to this broadcast list everybody under this list will get it like and follow for more Yes, we all have this annoying group on WhatsApp that anytime they send messages like <clears throat> But not to worry, I have a way to treat this now So let's just turn the notification off so that anytime they send a message in that group You won't even get notified at all Now try this hack All you have to do is to launch your WhatsApp And then select the group you want to mute And then click on the name at the top Then scroll down, you see mute notifications Just toggle it on and you select if it's for 8 hours you want to mute for one week or always once you select 8 hours you click ok between now and 8 hours from now anything sent to this group won't disturb you you won't get any notification about it like and follow for more so hey guys i know there are times where you must have read a message and then you don't want to reply to that message at that point in time but then you want to always remember that okay you've not actually replied to this message i'm going to show you how to mark it as a red message now try this tip after this, you launch your WhatsApp. Now, launch your WhatsApp. If it's you need it, I sent you this message and you want to mark it as unread so that maybe later you'll come back for it. You long press in feed, click on the three lines at the top right, and then click mark as unread. Now, this will make the last message there mark as unread so that anytime you want to look at it, you remember that oh, you've not replied this person. Like and follow for more. So, you feel WhatsApp has been consuming so many data for years and you feel like you want to stop it. Well, I'm here to give you the steps. Do this step in five seconds. Launch your WhatsApp. Now click on the three lines at your top right. Click settings and then go to storage and data. You open it and see when using mobile data, you uncheck all this. Probably you can leave the document if you want. Uncheck all this and then OK. Then um, when you connect it to Wi Fi, you can leave all this on. This will enable um, any photo, video, and audio to download automatically when you're on Wi Fi. And then click OK. For this roaming, you also uncheck all and then click OK. Like, follow, subscribe for more like this one. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to reply a personal chat on the group chat and also to start a message so that you can come back and reference it when next you feel like you want to come back to that chat. Now try this hack. What you have to do is launch your WhatsApp. You launch your WhatsApp and then you click on the account you want to reply. Say you want to reply this person and then you slide it by your right and it comes out this way you reply the person and then click send now this will make your chat more organized and then you feel like you want to start a chat let's say you want to start this first chat at the top you click on it and then i've started before so you can just unstar so if you want to start it click on it and then start and this will enable you to find it even when you have a lot of chats for example let's go back now you click on the three lines at the top right and then look at the star messages here you click on it and then you can find it here once you click on this star it brings you back to the chat no matter when you start it like and follow for more so you have this your favorite person that you chat with oh i know that person and then you just don't want the person to go down in the chat box and you just want to wake up every morning and see that person at the top well you know you can actually pin your chats now do this what to do is to launch your whatsapp and then look for the person you want to pin at the top you can pin uh, multiple persons if you want to pin you look for the person let's say i want to pin that two here at the top you click on that two you long press it and then look at this pin option at the top you click on pin and that remains at the top even when i get a new message it doesn't come on top of ada it comes under ada and i want to pin someone else i want to pin presidentian you click on it and you, and you pin presidentian and ada are at the top other messages will come below them like and follow for more since like you, you want to know if brother america has his file on your whatsapp well do these few steps to know first thing you have to do is to click on your whatsapp open your whatsapp and click on the three lines at your top right now click on link devices 
and if you see any device here from my end you see google chrome windows yes i'm aware that this actually has access to my whatsapp so i'll leave it on but then if you see any of these devices here and then you don't recognize the device or you don't know what the device is for you just simply click on it and then log out once you click on log out and that is it the person will no longer have access to spy on your whatsapp activities anymore like follow subscribe for more like this one